Today I'm going to be doing a really fun style of painting on an actual whiteboard. This is a 9 by 12 whiteboard or melamine board. That means it just has a coating on the top of it. I also call it shower board. But I love doing this style and it's for my birthday. So, you know, I'm going to do something I absolutely love and share a little love with it. I love the texture. This is a one and a half inch brush and it is fabulous. It's just a paintbrush, but it does a great job putting texture. The what you see is actually the board below. It's in the style if you're familiar with Hamel Valgamari. He is a fabulous abstract artist on YouTube and I have really come to appreciate this style. It's so much fun and it's so therapeutic. I am using a little bit smaller brush now. This is a one inch brush and I am using Purell Red. And this paint can either be mixed with water or it can be pore paint. But if you're going to use pore paint, it's not going to be as saturated. Usually the flow medium, it's going to be a little bit more transparent. So if you use just a little bit of water, you get a little bit more color and I need a lot of vibrancy today. So now I am just going back around my circle and creating my flower, pulling in and now I'm pulling out for my second layer of my flower. I'm going to have three flowers today and hopefully they are going to look pretty awesome as dried flowers. But this style is usually putting paint on and taking paint off. I'm going to have two more flowers. So I'm going to start my second flower down here and just pull in, 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 in exactly the same way as I did my first if you missed it. And uh, I need a little bit more pulling in here. Let's make this a little bit bigger, pulling in, in, in. And it's fine that it pulls this black in. It's going to add some dimension to that bottom layer. You can see the bottom layer and then the second layer uh, on the one that I did first is a lot lighter. Now the third one, just pulling in, in, in. And they're not perfect. They're perfectly imperfect. And that's fine because flowers in nature are now I'm going out, 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 just pulling in and putting my second layer on. These flowers are actually fairly easy. There we go. And do the same thing for the third flower, pulling out, out, out. Right from the middle out, just very quickly as I'm turning my Lazy Susan. This is just a, a, a simple Lazy Susan. And now I'm going to pull in and in for this one. The middle flower is going to be the one that should stand out the most. It is going to be the one on top. So sometimes you'll see me um, maybe be a little bit um, short on some of my sides it's because I know that this flower is going to be the one on top. So I'm going around again. And let's see, I am going to now add yellow. This yellow is going to, of course, make multidimensional flowers and going to add some oranges in there and I'm just bringing in petals going around and doing singular petals now coming in 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 I love the effect for this particular flower because in the end it's going to look kind of like dried flowers which is a lot of fun or even corn flowers and uh, I just like that I've always liked those as you can see just petals now I've got some contrast. And now another layer of petals out beyond that. And here you can see my side's a little short, but it's all gonna work out, as I said earlier. Yeah. And uh, not totally perfect, but we're still gonna be adding more. And now more, just another layer into the center. And you can just add the layers until you're happy with your flowers. Yep, okay. Let's see. And a little bit more yellow. Here we go. That is just yellow paint. It's primary yellow and water. That's all it is. And sometimes I just uh, don't know when to totally quit. Here we go. You can start seeing the petals form. And when I show you the close at the end, there's a close up that really shows how delicate this looks, even though it's just little tiny strokes of paint. And it'd be nice if I could make a straight stroke right there, but that's okay. Okay. Now they're all different variations as they would be in nature. And now I really need to work on that middle flower. So I'm just going to pull in straight into the middle 
Yeah. Let's add an extra layer on the outside. And then here we go, covering up the other flower. Still a little lopsided, so let's add another layer. It's not really another layer, it's more like another set of strokes. So it's very easy. Now I'm going out, alternating going in and then going out. And this moves the color or the lighter color to the outer part of the petal. Now the yellow to go in, same exact way that I did the others. And there we go. Now, let's see, let's just keep on doing another set in the middle. Clean it up just a little bit. Mm. Okay. Now, I love this style because this is a whiteboard. You can literally clean it up. So if you want to put anything, like I'm doing a little bit of a rosebud, it's not a rosebud, a flower bud down here. If I want to add leaves, if I want to add whatever, and then I want to get rid of it, I can. That's what's so great about this style. Yes, you can get rid of it on a regular untreated canvas, but this way it just cleans up so easily. Yeah, that doesn't look all that great. So we're going to get rid of that. But I do need a little bit of the green. I love the contrast with the red because they're complementary colors. It just gives such a contrast. And I'm going to have a little bit of green back behind my flower. That's going to make it pop. And you're going to see why that's important. It's going to be a little bit of green. And then I'm also going to bring my flowers out by pulling the black out. And you'll see exactly why I do this in the end for my background. Now you could leave the background you see here, but I am not going to. I'm just fiddling around because I'm gonna show you how easy it is to get rid of this. If you've never seen this style before, it basically washes away with water. You could use your brush or you could use a paper towel or whatever. I can do whatever I want and I can get rid of it. But before I get rid of it, I'm gonna go ahead and put the middle part of my flower. I'm just gonna put a little button middle to it and we'll put a little bit more yellow here. I just think I need a little more yellow. And then I'm going to do little buttons in each of my flowers. And they're so simple. You've got to see how simple they are. You're just going to do little round dot, 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 and go right around. And there is a shaded middle. And you really cannot mess these up. You won't believe how easy this is to do. And because you're on a board, it just, it just, so easy to move the paint around. Now watch this. This paint, even if it's a little bit dry, you can just quickly get rid of it. Looks a little bit like a hot mess, but I'm just gonna fix it up. I'm just going to pull my paint backwards, speed it up just a little bit so that I don't waste all of your time today, but we're just gonna pull, 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 and there we go. Now you see, I'm going to pull away the paint a little bit. That's why it really didn't matter how much green was up there. I'm pulling the paint out because I need this to be light right around the flower, and you will see why here in a minute. Just pull, pull, pull away the paint. And you can see there's a little bit of lingering green, and I like that. I love the contrast that it's going to make. So it's not going to matter at all. This is how forgiving this process is. And I can hear how hoarse I am, so you'll just have to forgive how hoarse my voice is today. Okay, let me just do this really quickly. I am just pulling, pulling, pulling right around my petals, trying not to erase my petals. And yeah, it's going to turn out, you're already kind of seeing how it's going to be more Valentine's themed. It looks kind of like a heart. I love it that it looks like a heart. And I'm just cleaning this up. I just love doing this. It's so therapeutic to just take the brush and rake it back. Here we go. Okay. Now we can actually do the background. If I will quit with this, we'll do the background. Okay, here's what I've got so far, and we're going to finish up this piece with the background. 
Okay, so to do the background, I'm actually borrowing this straight from Balgamari himself. I am doing his very beautiful, what looks like bamboo. By sliding my finger away from the flower, I'm creating what looks sort of like bamboo stalks. Now you can see why I use the lightness around the flower, and that allows the lightness to be and have more contrast. And so slide, slide, slide. It doesn't matter whether you're wearing a glove or you have a a finger that's all natural without a glove it works the same way and you can slide forward if that's the way you want your paint to go or you can slide outward like I'm doing towards the edge which is allowing it to be wider toward my flower if you make a mistake you can always go right back over it if your paint is too watery because your paint just reactivates with water you can just put a little bit of water on a brush or on a spray bottle. I like to use a spray bottle. And then you can just keep on going. You can even go brush back over it with your black paint. If you make a mistake, it's absolutely one of the most forgiving painting styles I've ever seen. And it is so much fun. So if you have some extra paint, pour paint laying around if you're a pour painter or you just have some acrylic paint, laying around you should give this a try all you need is a piece of board or melanine shower board that is that slick board that you can write on most people know it as a whiteboard today this is done on that exact board i'm going to finish this up just pulling around you can see how easy it is to go back over it see just go right back over it that one's not particularly straight but hey and this looks like bamboo. You can see how you can lighten it up depending on how much pressure that you put on it. And also how wet it is matters, but it's really easy and very forgiving. And almost done, just gotta go back there and hit that one. I'll show you that I did do that because it looked like a hole there. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Yeah, that looks good. Now let me show you what it looks like. Here it is. Here is our pretty dried flowers in bamboo in a heart for Valentine's. Isn't this amazing? It is so organic and you've got to see a close up. Take a look at this. Look at the detail in the petals from the style. I'm so glad you could join me today. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and come back and join me again for another video. Check out these videos.